Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Dragon Speed Shop. Well, today's just going to be another little update video on the Mustang. Um, let's take a look at what's been done. Um, you guys know, last time I got that engine bay all cleaned up, um, did a little bit more work, got the hood um, hinge in there. That all functions, works out really, really nicely. If I can remember how to use my camera today. Um, nothing else has changed with the body. Um, I haven't started the finish mods on it. But, see here in front of us, there is something that has changed. Um, I started working on the interior. Um, I've got the interior pans pretty well close. Everything's still a little bit uh, wet, still drying, stuff like that. But let's take a look at what uh, is going on here. Um, door panels. They are the stock 2013 Mustang door panels that I cut down right here. Um, they had a little kind of extension on them. It adds like the rear armrest and stuff. And i not using it. I didn't need it, so... Hacked it off. Um, interior wise, we are still using the stock um, Mustang, the 2013 dash. Um, fits really well in there, everything like that. The center console, everything seems to fit pretty well. Everything lines up. It took a little bit of work to get everything to line up, um, you know, with the panel here, the panel going up on the top to line up but it wasn't too difficult it wasn't too bad um the seats we're using are the i think these came out of a viper kit i kind of like the style and stuff we'll clean them up and remove the viper out of it <clears throat> but then so we're using the stock pan the 2013 mustang um scratch belt kind of this back half this piece here is the um, rear panel for the 64 and a half Mustang that controls or holds the rear seats. Um, I just cut the top half of it, um, eliminated the seat out of this because it's basically turning into a two seat Mustang anyways, most of them are. Um, let's throw this panel in here. And we can take a look here. It is still a really tight, tight fit. I've still got to sand some spots, so. Let's throw this panel in here. Maybe. There we go. Give you guys kind of an idea on how that rear pan sits. So, there's how that uh, kind of the rear seat eliminator that I did fits in there fits in there really really super clean um, gonna be very little kind of filling and stuff like that and match that new roof line there's just a little tiny gap you guys can see there um, I don't know how concerned I'm gonna be with that but it's not too bad um, and get this out and back on the frame it's still drying so as for the dash and stuff um, it fits in there just like so. Kind of hard to hold this all. Um, so we'll still have a full, the 2013 interior in this thing. So it's coming out really, really slick. Um, I'll show you the door panels here. They line up pretty damn well. Um, I'm really, really happy with the way those turned out. Um, so the only thing really left that we'll have to do for the interior wise um, is to finish the rear tub up to the top of the body or the firewall, the other half of it. Um, motor fits, motor clears, um, everything still is pretty much 2013 um, where we mounted the front suspension, everything like that. So pretty easy, pretty slick. Um, everything's starting to come together pretty Pretty nice, and I said pretty a lot in this episode. <laughs> but 
there you guys go quick little update on what's going on with the mustang um hope you guys enjoyed this but uh until next time guys this is dragon speed shop i'm signing out peace